This video is one of a series in which I review and critique the GitLab Basics documentation. The subject of this video is the Creator Group documentation. So I'll click on the link and it takes me here to this content Create a new group. Uh, the title doesn't seem to match the link that I left. Let me just go back for one step. Okay, create a group. Let me go forward and it's titled Create a New Group. It's nitpicking, but the word new is really not necessary because if you're creating a group by definition, it's new. So as the, the link from the index page or the top level page had it titled, I think you could change that to create a group. Okay, uh, for a list of words that are not allowed to be used as group names, see the reserved names. Okay, I can understand why that's there, but I wonder, yeah. I wonder whether perhaps that could be uh, contained within the the UI instead of having to be listed here, but I guess it's good for reference. Right. Also, again, nitpicking, but I wonder whether perhaps that could be moved to within the actual creation procedure. Anyway, okay, so it says you can create a, yeah, you can create a group in GitLab from one, the groups page. From the top menu, click groups and click the green button, new group. And it's shown here. So the screenshot. Elsewhere, expand the plus sign button in the top nav bar and choose new group. Again, that's highlighted here. So click on that, you get the menu pop up and select new group. Okay, understand that. I think in terms of legibility, it would have been better to, to say you can create a group in GitLab from the groups page or from the navigation bar or the nav bar and then provide examples for both. So from the groups page and then list this as being a separate procedure, still including the screenshot if you wanted to. Uh, and then elsewhere, yeah, I'd say instead of elsewhere, say um, from the in the navigational bar or from the navigation bar, and then you can expand that. Uh, also, I'm a little bit concerned about saying click the green button, new group. For anybody who's perhaps colorblind or you know, specifically red, glare, uh, red, green deficient, uh, I think it would be better to say click the, the new group button or just click new group. But uh, that's a, uh, an issue we can address later. Uh, so scroll down then add the following information. So a screenshot and then, oh, okay, this information. I think it would have been better to move this up here so that it immediately followed the add the following information. But let's understand. Well, okay, so we've got the group name. So the group name there. The group name will populate the path automatically. Optionally, you can change it. This is the name that that will me, I think that's supposed to be will be, displayed in the group views. What do you mean by path? The group name will populate the path automatically. What path? There's no mention of a path field here, so I wonder what that means. Optionally, you can change it. Don't understand that really. Set the group URL. 
which will be the namespace under which your projects will be hosted. Path can contain only letters, digits, underscores, dashes, and dots. It cannot start with dashes or end in dot. So I wonder if we can start with just one dash. Or if it's just that it can't be multiple dashes that it starts with. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, three. Optionally, you can add a description so that others can briefly understand what this group is about. Optionally, choose an avatar for your project. Five. Choose the visibility level. Okay. Okay, visibility level, who will be able to see this group? Private, internal, public. Okay, choose the visibility level. Uh, okay, the documentation goes on to talk about add users, but I can see from the index over here, the index for this page, that that's actually something separate. All I'm uh, concerned with is the creator group documentation. One thing I've just realized now in looking at this is that it, this step um, instructs, instructs you to add the following information, which again is detailed here below the screenshot, but it doesn't actually say that you then click create group, which I can see here at the bottom of the screenshot. So if I simply complete the information, but then close the session, that is, and quit the, the GitLab UI, I imagine it wouldn't actually create the, the group at all. So it's seemingly missing a step to click create group. Again, that would be fairly easy to add, but it's obviously a critical, a critical step that's missing. All right, that concludes the uh, this video. So I'll um, I'll stop it here.